Okay, what we're going to do in this video is uh, we're going to uh, look at uh, importing uh, models from the motor models, brushless motor models, or brush motor models for that matter too, um, from the uh, RC Crew Chief website into the uh, motor manager. Uh, this is the one of the new features uh, in the program is a significant improvement to the whole motor manager um, uh, section of the program so we can do a better job of analyzing uh, dyno results and also create uh, much more accurate uh, models. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the website and we're going to download some motor models to import into the program. So we just go to the download page, <coughs> click on electric motors, uh, there's a little blurb here that I put in uh, just so that everybody's aware that you should not be comparing one manufacturer to another with this uh, with these models. In order to do that you need to uh, uh, do some very careful testing and make sure that uh, all the variables that you have uh, are very tightly controlled and that way you can get a good comparison. Uh, that has not been done with creation of a lot of these models because they have been uh, tested under different conditions using different speed controls, different battery states of charge, um, you know, lots of different things that can affect the results. So if you're good with that, then just click accept. And now you will get the uh, list of uh, uh, the available models that I have right now. I'll be adding to this as I can uh, <coughs> get my hands on motors to test. Or if anybody has uh, uh, a dyno and they would like to contribute some models, then please feel free to send them through to me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to download one of these. We're going to do the 13.5 here. Uh, so you have two different uh, formats. You can download just a, a zip file or a self-extracting zip file. Uh, I normally just use the zip file, so we're just going to do that and we're going to open it. And then we're going to unzip the entire file and just unzip it and we'll put it in this temporary folder. So there we go. There's all the, uh, uh, the contents of that zip file. So what you have is these Excel uh, uh, CSV files. So these are the raw data that was recorded from the uh, flywheel dyno and then these .rcm files these are the motor models that get imported into uh, RC Crew Chief and the uh, dyno readme file this is if you decide you want to try and play around with creating some of your own models uh, just to experiment um, these are the parameters that you should enter on the dyno page for uh, wiring allowance, ESC arm resistance, and the flywheel inertia. The flywheel inertia being the uh, most important number to put into the, into the program. Okay, so that's all done. So now let's go and just import some files in Darcy Crew Chief. So I'm just import motor model. Uh, we're already in our temp folder here where we just downloaded everything. So let's just go ahead and start importing. So we'll start with a zero degree model. And we're just going to import all of them. Twenty degree, oops, twenty-five degree. but not least, 40 degrees. So in these timing settings here are the timing marks on the can. It's not necessarily the actual timing uh, advance in the motor. Um, that we would need to uh, measure using a separate piece of equipment. So this is all the models here are, are basically reference the uh, uh, timing marks on the can, not necessarily representative of the actual timing in the motor. So now we can go and we can have a look here at uh, different motor results. So if we look at 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and let's say 30 degrees. 
So there you go. You can see you got a nice family of curves here. Uh, so this is starting at the uh, zero degree, 10, 20, and 30 degree timing mark. So you can see there's quite a significant difference as you start moving out in the uh, increasing the timing values. Uh, similarly with the current draws, you can see here we're, we're drawing more and more current uh, by increasing the timing and also the efficiency is dropping off the more timing we add. We are gaining torque though too. So those are the kind of trade-offs. So now you've got a family of uh, motor models imported into the program and uh, we can start doing th things with them. So next video we'll look at uh, uh, attaching these uh, motor models to a car and we'll do some uh, uh, looking at the acceleration versus time. That's it for now.